everybody. So today we're going to be taking a look at ancient Egypt. And I know some of you, probably all of you, have at least heard of something to do with ancient Egypt, whether it's mummies or pharaohs or the pyramids, the Sphinx, something. Because ancient Egypt has um, a lot to do with, um, well, I should say, our culture has a lot to do with ancient Egypt. There's hardly a book or a television show or a movie uh, series that hasn't done something with ancient Egypt. I remember when my kids were younger, uh, Phineas and Ferb had a whole thing on, on ancient Egypt. And there's a ton of movies dealing with parts of ancient Egypt or even set in ancient Egypt or the lore thereof. There's, there's very few other cultures in history that have as much mystery um, and um, even, you know, mystique about it. And so today we're going to take a look or start to take a look at ancient Egypt. We'll be spending a couple of weeks doing this. And what you'll be doing today is doing what I called an ancient Egypt quest. Now I'm going to give you specific instructions in person, but let me just kind of go over this is a, a, what we're going to be doing just in case you um, need to watch, you, know, you get the instructions again or you're absent or something. There is a document listed here that uh, I created from a website from the uh, London Museum, the British Museum, um, that is fantastic, absolutely great website, and it takes us all through the cultures of ancient Egypt. So as I will put, show out to you in class, on the left-hand side is going to be a menu for each subject, gods and goddesses, uh, pharaohs, all sorts of different culture, uh, subjects of ancient Egypt, and you're going to navigate through the quest guide through each of those sites on, this, on or each of those subjects on the site. Okay, um, I have designed the website. No, that's a lie. I didn't design the website. I designed the worksheet from the website. So uh, you need to use this specific website, and I'll go through uh, and show you specifically how it works in, in class. But just generally, there's a story. And there is a, what's the other term? Let me look at it. The story and an explore for each section. The story usually as you read something and then a response. And then the explore is usually some type of an activity. And uh, you'll see sometimes there's something to write down in the, on the sheet and sometimes there isn't. Uh, that's just how, how it works. I wanted to keep this within a class period time. I could have made this assignment much, much larger than it is, but I didn't want to do that. So... Um, Follow the instructions on this page, my oral instructions in class, and also what I'm just telling you in this video, and you should be okay. Um, but this should not take you more than, I'm going to say, half an hour to 45 minutes. Um, that's, especially since it's kind of a two-day assignment, right? Um, that, that I think that's about right. All right, but if you have any questions, of course, I am here. But um, you can either print it off and fill it out or do it digitally like you guys know what to do. All right. Uh, if I'm here, if you have any questions.